Hi everyone, this is Dr. Daudu, and I'm here to present the provision of our concerning quality control charting, process monitoring. Well, QCC, the package that is resident inside R, meaning that you install R and later you install QCC to be able to use QCC. It's very, very useful for monitoring processes through the plot of keyword quality control chart, custom chart, human chart, et cetera, et cetera. Well, for QCC, to perform very well. I mean, for things to all go well for QCC, you need objects. Well, it's object that is of paramount important importance is data free. Just like data is very important to any statistical package. So also is the case with the QCC. Data free is in the form of a matrix of vector. Well, for the purpose of this presentation, I've decided to use piston rings, which is a data that comes with QCC. Well, this is how it goes. When you use the, this line of the code to evoke the library of QCC, it asks you that you are telling that you are using the data piston ring. It knows, it knows where to get it. Then attach piston rings. I'm not sure, check, by giving this command to give you the dimension of this series and to give, if it's properly done, it to give you 200 by three. Then you may even look at this series by giving this and it to produce this. Well, as you can really see, there are 200 cases and the columns are diameter, sample, trial. Diameters contain the readings, sample contains the samples, and in, it, in here there are 40 samples, but each of them is having five distinct readings. Well, the trial is Boolean, true or false. Well, if the diameter is properly measured, you say true. If it's estimated somewhat, you say false. Okay. Now, this is another output for the data. You could tell QCC, put diameter into diameter in this way. Let diameter be in form of sample. I mean, group them, group diameter in form of samples. And it will give you 40 samples in the, each of which is having five readings. Mind it, 40 times five is 200. Okay. Now, after giving that, you have equipped QCC with the sample with which is going to work. Now you can train QCC with the first 25 readings of the sample, first 25 samples. First 25 samples in your data. Now, that is done by giving this command. Then I'm going to diameter, take the first 25 data in there. Construct X bar chart. Once you give this command, it executes it, but you could have this, ask for the summary of what it has done and to give you this. Here you have a summary of the parameters in there. It will conclude that by giving you the lower control limit and the upper control limit. Well, this will be the result of the chart, the charting. But this chart tells you that everything is within control. See, there's no sample point outside the expanse of lower control limit and upper control limit. Tells you everything is within control. But what if you have, you need some other charts? You don't want a bad chart in those. Well, this table will guide you as to you acquiring some other charts. 
one that chat, one test chat, or some other chat. Just change the type in the particular code. Change the type to whatever chat type that you want, and it will work well. The table continues. Fine. This is a commentary that is supposed to tell you, give you information pertaining to creation of the chart. The upper control limit and lower control limit are within population mean plus or minus three standard deviation. Estimate of this uh, population standard deviation that is. Now, that commentary is there to guide beginners or those that have forgotten how to use control chart. Now, we said the process is in control based on the training. What next? What about the remaining 15 samples in our data? What we're going to do now is to tell QCC to superimpose the chart of the remaining 15 samples over the 25 sample training samples that it got. Then when we tell it, when we give this command, it will execute that. Okay, and it will produce a chart that looks like this. From this chart, we can see that now there are some points outside the control limit. And there's this point known as the warning point, although it's admissible, but it's very close to the upper control limit. So it's a warning point. But these three are outside the control limit. They are points of, out of control. Whenever this happens, obviously the quality control person will fish out the reason why these points are here. They're supposed to be within the expanse. But since they're out here, you quickly be with the machine error, what problem is it? So that you quickly correct it so that before they cause more damage to the process. Okay. This is the summary of that result of that uh, chart. Okay, continuity, fine. You could have some other charts, like I said, but you can pick up this document on QCC, read it, it will give you more information on the package QCC of our. And um, what I have illustrated here is a piece of the SDEC. You get some more. Good luck and thank you for listening.